Welcome to Swamiko United Methodist Church's online service. Today is the fourth Sunday in Advent. Today's theme is joy. With God's grace, may we find joy in little things in life. May God fill your hearts with joy and happiness. Today we light the first, second, third, and fourth candles of the Advent wreath. Each candle has a meaning. The first candle is hope. The second candle is love. The third candle is peace. And the fourth candle is joy. 
from the book of Isaiah. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. join me in prayer. Gracious God, you came to us in human flesh, and you abide with us in the Holy Spirit. Fill us with your joy, and help us shine as a light to the world. Through Jesus Christ, who makes our joy complete. Amen.
because of Christmas Day. While shepherds watched their flocks by night, they saw a bright new shining star and heard a choir from heaven sing. The music came from afar. Hark now, hear the angels sing, new kings born today, and man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Now Joseph and his wife Mary came to Bethlehem that night. They found no place to bear her child. Not a single room was in sight. By and by, they found a little nook in a stable all forlorn. And in a stable cold and dark, Mary's little boy child was born. Trumpets sound and angels sing. Listen to what they say. That man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. The Old Testament reading for today is from the book of Psalms. Give your love of justice to the king, O God, and righteousness to the king's son. Help him judge your people in the right way. Let the poor always be treated fairly. May the mountains yield prosperity for all, and may the hills be fruitful. Help him to defend the poor, to rescue the children of the needy, and to crush their oppressors. May they fear you as long as the sun shines, as long as the moon remains in the sky. Yes, forever. May the king's rule be refreshing like spring rain on freshly cut grass, like the showers that water the earth. May all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. Today's New Testament reading comes from Luke chapter 1, Verses 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. As we have been waiting for the arrival of Jesus, we have reflected on themes like hope, peace, and love. Today is the last Sunday in Advent. Today's theme is joy. My grandson Noah is full of joy. He smiles a lot with his eyes twinkling with happiness. When he gives me a smile and a hug, my heart melts. He spreads joy like a super spreader. I feel that God is in him and he is in God. French theologian Pierre Teilhard de Chardin said, Joy is the infallible sign of the presence of God. We often think that Jesus was always serious and stern, but actually Jesus was full of joy. 
Jesus said, I have spoken all these things to you so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be full. When Jesus saw the birds, he said to his disciples, Look at those birds in the sky. Aren't they free and happy? God feeds them. So don't worry about what to eat. God will provide for you. When Jesus saw the flowers, he said to his disciples, Look at those flowers. Aren't they pretty? God takes care of them. So don't worry about what to wear. God will take care of you. Jesus also enjoyed eating and drinking with his friends. Jesus found joy in simple things in life. This year has been like no other. The whole world has been hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic. It's hard to find joy when we are surrounded by life's troubles. Some have suffered the loss of their loved ones. Some are suffering from financial difficulties. Some are suffering from isolation and loneliness. But the Bible never says to us, wallow in self-pity, complain about your problems, or blame others when things are not going well. Instead, the Bible tells us, don't worry. Have faith. God is with you. God will provide. Rejoice always. It's not easy to find good in bad situations. But Jesus said, seek and you will find. So let's look for good in every situation. Although coronavirus is still a threat to us, the vaccine has been developed and will be available to us sooner or later. Yes, over a quarter million Americans died of coronavirus, but over 15 million Americans have overcome coronavirus and survived. Yes, there are selfish, angry, hateful, rude, and violent people in the world. But there are more decent, honest, kind, and peace-loving people in the world. Yes, politicians are causing division and conflicts among people, but Jesus shared with us the vision of the kingdom of God, where all people live in love and peace as brothers and sisters in God. St. Paul suffered a lot in his life. He suffered from hunger, deprivation of sleep, persecution, shipwreck, beatings, imprisonment, you name it. And yet, St. Paul said, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Even when he was in prison, he sang songs of praise to God. His joyful spirit was in The Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 2 through 4, Consider the pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that we may be mature and complete not lacking anything. St. James is teaching us that all kinds of life's problems can be potential blessings in disguise. Tough times are never our enemies. Tough times are our friends that help us to grow wise, strong, and mature. Life often throws us lemons. We ought to make sweet lemonade out of sour lemons. We can be either bitter or better, depending on how we think about our problems. Bad things happen to everybody. When bad things happen, we often complain, whine, or blame other people. Instead, when bad things happen, we should face reality, deal with the issues, and turn our adversities into our blessings. It's been said that Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. It's not what happens to us, but how we react to it that matters. The Bible tells us to find joy in all circumstances. Author Leo Buscaglia told a story about his wise Italian mother. One evening, 
his father came home and said that he would have to go into bankruptcy because of his business failure. Everyone in the family became worried and gloomy. That night, his mother went out and sold some jewelry to buy food for sumptuous feast. Other members of the family scolded her for it. But she told them that the time for joy is now when we need it most, not next week. Her courageous act rallied the family. Let us seize the moment. The time when we celebrate life is now. The place where we celebrate life is here. May God use you and me to bring joy into the lives of people we meet today and every day. Amen. Please join us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
watching and waiting until Jesus comes, until Jesus comes, until Jesus comes. I'll be watching and waiting until Jesus comes. Be people of joy. Let joy live in your heart and share the joy of Christ with all you meet. Share joy by seeing the good in each other. Share joy by remembering good times and hoping for good times to come. Share joy by praying for our world. In this Advent season, we need to see, feel, and share joy. As you go out into the wonder of God's creations, share joy peace, and hope with those you meet. Amen.